Okay guys, this is Cruise Roy with the Raptor 30. This is a 30. It's the version 2. But I just want to do an overview of it. I've converted it to a gasoline engine. That's right. It runs on gas. I have a little adapter tube here that fits into a Dubro quick fill port. And I'm running uh, Klotz Super Technoplate. Um, and it's running at 10 to 1. I'm using my T8 FG Futaba radio Maverick blades and Neon paddles just so I can see it flying. It's also got a g-force head on it Otherwise, it looks like your average nitro machine But it's running on a gasoline go engine if you see right here where normally you have the spare fuel tank, or a header tank they call them. There's a CDI in here running the spark plug. And I got a temperature gauge on there. It's just a standard Raptor 30V2. Um, I don't have the high performance go engine exhaust, but it is the GH56, as you can see right in there. And there's the gasoline engine with the 10 to 1 clots. And I just have the standard exhaust on it with an aligned silicone deflector on there with a block tube, which I can just use to keep the stink out of the house, block off the fuel. Um, she's got carbide tail blades. But I just want to open it up and show you everything that's going on inside. And so far, it's been running pretty well. And you're getting about 45 minutes out of uh, sport flying on this. I'm not a 3D flyer, I'm a sport flyer. So 30 to 45 minutes on this thing in moderate temperature. If it's really hot, you're getting about 15 minutes and you got to let it warm, uh, cool down a little bit because of the high heat. Still haven't figured out a lot of heat issues with this bird. But I just wanted to go over with because you never really see too many of them and not a lot of information on the go engine. It's like they're building the engine. Let me just put the camera in here. They're building in the engine and then letting the uh, customers deal with the problems. But anyways, open the canopy up. Like I said, it's just your standard Raptor milk jug canopy. I just want to show you how I got it set up now. <clears throat> All right. Okay, it's got the GY401 uh, gyro. I'm going to move the fuel tank out of the way here. Uh, I did put in the 50 gear so you could have auto rotation. And uh, a little bit better gear ratio for the nitro engine. And like I said, here you go. It's the Go engine, the GH56 heat sensor, the bright orange head that they're known for. <clears throat> and uh, for cyclics, I'm running the DS, uh, the Spectrums. I got a Futaba running with the GY401, but all the cyclics are uh, DS. Um, I have an Align um, an Align BEC running the power um, and it's running it's just running the power uh, powered down for the servos and the receiver but the battery has a dual output all right this part right here is for the CDI with the higher voltage lot wires on it and then this goes right to the <clears throat> to the um, to the receiver well this is going to the Align BEC um, but all it is is a pulse uh, 2550 milliamps and it's an RX battery um, what I you really got to make sure you're mounted in here good I've had too many that the batteries come free and you end up crashing and I also have the uh, 50 uh, canopy 
bumper mounts here that the 30 didn't have. So it's got a few 50 parts on it, but it's basically a 30 to keep. I just wanted to keep the size down, something for a nice yard flyer. Um, this is the wiring. It's coming off the direct off the battery, right into the uh, the connectors to the CDI. All tied in with the V2. I designed the header tank. I carved it out to fit the CDI nicely, so it's mounted here off the side, but also keeps it away from your receiver. Because if they're too close, you get erratic action from that. All right. I have my needle settings. Uh, pretty good. I will post them on the forum as soon as I get them a little bit fine-tuned But she seems to be running really good now sounds like a nitro, but it's really not a nitro And like I said, I'm running the g-force head uh, CNC head on this Raptor. You don't really see that head anymore. I just happened to get it from another uh, crashed Raptor See if I can spin this around like I said, mounted um, the Futaba receiver, the Align uh, BEC, and the battery all up front. Keep it away from the CDI. And here's all my wiring harnesses here, going to all the servos. And for pitch, I have a high-tech, uh, high-speed ball bearing um, servo f for um, the pitch. And... Um, Still kept the uh, the power starter up there. Um, I did have the tank vented uh, where these uh, there's not a lot of information on this gas engine what to do, but I'm feeding it with a piece of silicone here because a gas tubing will burn right off, and then it goes into a little air filter just to catch any if you get flame out on this you don't get the spark so it acts like a little spark arrestor. With a little plug here, the reason I plugged this because originally I had a venting system going out, but come to find out, it works fine pressurized. You need it pressurized. I don't. There's some guys flying this uh, GH without pressure. I don't know how they're doing it because it's like a nitro engine. It doesn't have a pump and it needs some kind of pressure in the tank to push the fuel around, but I guess they are doing it. I'm not sure how, uh, but I'm pressurizing. I'm having no problem with pressurization. I'm having no problem with this tubing melting off. This motor gets no hotter than a nitro and it kind of runs like a nitro. It's just running on 10 to 1 uh, gasoline. So you buy a gallon of gas for about, it's actually a little bit under because you have, you have the mixture to put in. So it's under a gallon of gas. So you're talking right now you can get it for about 220 and a gallon of gas runs longer in time than three bottles of nitro which is really good and this is a nice small yard flyer it's not that big i have a predator and i also have a goblin gasser that are pretty huge and they're a pretty big bird to fly but this is just your basic little tiny raptor all right so i just wanted to do an overview so people can see what this raptor is all about with a gasoline engine uh, let me turn it on edge here. I forgot to show you that. If you look down there, there's the go engine head. And then you got your little uh, spark plug wire. And if you go up underneath. And what I was thinking is right where that head is and the fiberglass frame stiffener is putting an electric fan that would run off the LiPo battery just in case it needed more coolant. But for now, it's running fine. But... Again, this is Cruz Roy with his Raptor gasser, go engine gasser, running off 10 to 1 with Klotz Super Template, 10 to 1, and a Futaba radio. So this is Cruz Roy, and I'm out of here.